we would both work, come home, eat supper, sit down. On Sunday, do the same thing, eat supper, sit down. Had no giddy up and go. I mean, we had bicycles, but do we ever, did we ever ride them? No, we didn't ride them. We saw these signs around church that said that there was going to be a class about running. Well, we just kind of laughed. We both were extremely overweight and uh, had no intentions of running, but I had a doctor say to me, I, I said, okay, tell me if I don't lose weight, I'm going to die. And he said, well, I will tell you that if you don't lose weight, you're not going to live to see your grandchildren. It's funny, we go on dates now, but we pack our running clothes and oh, they yeah. go with us. And we have a running room in our house. <laughs> and we have on the shelves, you know, mm -hmm. running is a release, a release for her. It's a praying time for both of us. It's a very concentrated prayer time. You know, we have done a couple of races where, what's the shirt? What's the shirt? You know. So it's been a really good witnessing tool for us. You know, it's a it's a way that we can tell others that we're running for God. We are enduring life. We have come through so much, <laughs> he and I have. Yeah. This is just a little part of our journey that but but it that finish line has just been tremendous. That comparison of running that, that Mitchell taught us is just unbelievable uh, in our real life, in our real world that we're in every day. Wow, you know, this is so much like life, isn't it? You know, we really finish this. We can finish what we're doing. We had a really good support group, and we still do. Our support group is the, the first 66 that started Run For God. And there's a lot of us that still are running and supporting each other and praying together. and praying together we love it we love it